In this question on bearing and distance, we are told that the cottage is on a bearing of 200 degree and 110 degree from Dugbe's and Manu's farms respectively. Now, if Dugbe walk 5 kilometers and Manu 3 kilometers from the cottage to their farms, we are to find correct to two scenario figures, the distance between the two farms, and to the nearest degree, the bearing of Manu's farm from Dugbe's farm. So let's look at this critically. Now, we are told that the cottage is on a bearing of 200 and 110 from Dogbe's and Manusan. So we need to take the bearing of 200 from Dogbe and 110 from Manu. So in the first case, we want to locate 200 degree. We can say we want to draw our cardinal point just like this. Okay. And then we have our north, our south, our east, and the west. And we will notice that 200 will be in the top quadrant because north to south is a straight line. That's 180 degrees. So 200 will be just a bit off of that so we can look at a scenario coming like this so i can see what i'm having from the north to this inclination is 200 degrees okay and then in addition to that we're also told that from manu's farm it is 110 degrees if we look at 110, 110 is going to be in the second quadrant. Let's just use this as a reference. North to east is 90 degrees. So 110 will just be 20 more than 90. That means it will be something coming in this direction. Okay. But we are not taking it from Dugbe's farm. We have to take it from Manu's farm. That means that Manu's farm should be located somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere here. So that this inclination that can just come to meet this one as shown. In the diagram so that's what we are going to do to locate manu's farm you can just say i want to take that cardinal point just say from here all right again i want to have my north south east and west let me just leave that because i'll be including that in the diagram then i want to join this point to say this should come just like this which i can draw the bearing to say from the north to that inclination is 110 degrees then i can say i want to just finish up with the diagram by just drawing this line to join and finish here and then i can label okay now we are taking the bearing from dugbe's farm is 200 so this is where we are taking the 200 from that is dugbe's farm d for dugbe then m for manu this we have to be m okay and then we are talking about the cottage is the bearing to the cottage so this we can label as our C. So for us to finish up the diagram, we can just include the distances. Dogbe walked 5 kilometers to that cottage. So this is Dogbe. This is the cottage. So this is going to be 5 kilometers. Okay. And then Manu walked 3 kilometers from his own cottage to the farm. So this is 3 kilometers. And you can see how I use a shorter distance from Manu as compared to Dogbe. And then using the relative positions of the bearings, I'm able to locate this as appropriate. So let's try and solve this and see what we can use to get the distance between the two farms. Manny's farm M here to Dugbe's farm D here. Okay, so since that distance MD is opposite C, I can just call this C. Okay, so five kilometers will be small M, three kilometers will be small D. So let me just leave this at this. So we have this question. And it's giving us a triangle already. I want to find this particular side, but we need to get any of the included angles so that we'll be able to solve this effectively. Now, looking at this diagram and what we have, we can say at point C that can we can get the angle at this point C because looking at this particular point M, we know that from north to south is 180 degrees, is a straight line, and angle on the straight line is 180. So here that will be 180 minus this 110 so that will be 70 degrees okay but we are not going to be stopping there because we know that from this particular point m to point c we can take this particular angle and bring it down to c okay and also take it up to say this angle here that we are looking at is also 70 degrees because it is alternate to this 70 that we got by deducting 110 from the angle on the straight line 180 which is from north to south okay and then interestingly from d also we can see that here we can have something like this 
at D, we can also have this straight line from the south and then incline it to this particular point C again. And then again, we can take it up to see that this angle here, which will now be 200, that is from north to the inclination of C from D, minus 180, which is from the north to the south. So this angle is 200 minus 180, which is 20. And then this place is also going to give us 20. And as interesting as that gets, we are seeing that at this particular junction, at this point C, what we are having is inherently nothing but a right angle. So this is just 70 plus 20. And the addition of the two is going to give us nothing but a right angle, 90 degrees. So it is the breakdowns like this that will help us to holistically solve our question. And that renders the triangle MDC as a right angle. So what we're having is that triangle MDC is nothing but a right angle triangle. And if we can get this, then we know that we can postulate just the two theorems to help us solve right angle triangle. First, the trigonometric identity, so katua. We can use so katua and then we can use the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, the so katua plus Pythagoras that can help us to solve questions like this when we have a right angle triangle so let's see how we can use that to solve this particular question in the first case we want to find the distance between the two forms and we have said that is c distance from m to d and by Pythagoras theorem we can say that c square is going to be d square plus m square and i've said d is this particular three kilometers which is facing the vertex d and m is this particular five kilometers which is facing the vertex m so that means I'm having C squared to be nothing plus what is D squared? That is 3 squared plus M squared. That is 5 squared. So C squared is 9 plus 25, which is equal to 34. And then, and then I can say C is equal to the square root of 34. And then C, which is distance between the two farms that we are looking for, is going to be, we can bring a calculator to solve this, okay? The square root of 34 this is 5.83095 let me say 5.83 so this is 5.83 but from the question we have to get this to two significant figures okay so we can say approximately two significant figures which means that we need only two digits five is the very first one we need to take that now to consider the second digit we need to look at the third or the extra digit and see if we need to round it up or round it down 3 is not up to 5, so we round it down to 0, and it does not take effect on 8 at all. So this is approximately 5.8 kilometers as the distance between the two farms, which is C, okay? So that is the very first thing. In the second case, they are asked to find, to the nearest degree, the bearing of Manu's farm from Dogbe's. So this is Dogbe's farm. We need to get the bearing of Manu's farm from Dogbe. Already, we have seen that from Dogbe to the cottage is 200. If we can get this particular angle, let me call that theta, we will see that the bearing of Manu's farm from Dugwe's farm will be 200 that we got initially plus that theta, okay? Because here, we are starting from the north, we get to the bearing of the cottage from Dugwe's farm and then add theta to it to get to the bearing of Manu's farm from Dugwe's farm. So, that bearing that we are asked to find is going to be 200 plus theta so that is what we are looking for but for us to get theta since this is a right angle triangle even to consider this part okay we are considering this angle theta we have the opposite to it which is three we also have the adjacent to it which is five so what is relating the angle the opposite and the adjacent that is tan so we can say from here tan theta that we are looking for is equal to opposite which is three over the adjacent which is five so that is equal to, such that theta will be actan 3 over 5. And in that particular case, our theta is going to be what's actan 3 over 5? That will be actan 3 over 5 is 0 0.6. Okay. So we have this as 30.9637 or 964. That's 30.964 such that the bearing that we are looking for is 200 plus 30.964 and if you had this that would be 230.964 but 
Again, we are told that we are to get this to the nearest degree. Even if you are not told to get that to the nearest degree, you need to always note that bearings are only given in three digits. Even if it is two, maybe like it is supposed to be 70, you need to add zero in front that says it is 070 degrees, okay? And you don't say 70 degrees, say 070 degrees, okay? So, for this particular question, we are going to round this up and we can see that 9 will round up to 1 and add to the initial number such that that bearing will be 231 degrees. So, these are the two answers that we are supposed to get. Distance between the two farms is 5.8 kilometers and the bearing of Manus farm from Dogbe farm is 231 degrees. And with that, we've been able to solve this question by first interpreting and getting our diagram correctly and making use of Sokato and Pythagoras theorem. Since it is giving us a right angle triangle, if it was giving us a scaling triangle, we could have used the sine and the cosine rule. But yeah, we are good since it's a right angle triangle and our question is done and dusted. All right.